Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today, I wanna to show you a little data pack that I wrote. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload the data pack and it's gonna create an optical illusion. So pay close attention to what you see on screen. And, okay, something just changed. Uh, the shading doesn't look quite right. Uh, the blocks aren't, they look kind of glitchy. Now the astute among you may have already realized what's going on here, that these are block display entities. What you probably didn't realize though, is that they are all flat. Every single one of those block display entities has been flattened out so that it is just pretty much a plane. So this is a little optical illusion, but the way it works is I was hovering right here. I used ray casting to figure out which blocks I could see in my line of sight. And for each one, I created a block display entity. And then I projected each block display entity down onto a plane. This is kind of similar to what I did in my last video about collision detection and the separating axis theorem, except instead of projecting each block down onto a axis, a one dimensional axis, I project it onto the plane that's perpendicular to my line of sight, basically between the center of that block and my eyes. So projection onto a plane, and I also shrunk each one and moved them in a little bit closer <laughs> so that they would occupy a smaller amount of space here. Um, so that's what's going on. Let's go ahead and we'll just do it one more time. Now this is a data pack. You can download it. Uh, there's a link in the video description if you want to try it out for yourself, but we'll do it one more time. You can see the blocks change right before your eyes. Everything's in the same place it was before, except now they're all block display entities and <laughs> they are all flat. So fun little optical illusion. Just wanted to share it with you. That's about it. Thanks for watching.